Yeah, I don't think I'd put up a... I don't think I'd put a base up on this planet. But the temptation is there. Maybe I'll make a beacon. Can I make a beacon? I can. Okay. One voltaic cell and two karite sheets. God, can I even come remotely close to building either of those? Yeah, we don't we can't even make voltaic cells. What's the point? <laughs> See what's even the point of giving me the recipe if if I can't even figure out how to make that stuff? Jerk. Alright, whatever. This will be easy enough. Okay, anything? There is nothing in this one, is there? I mean, there's... Nope, that's just a lamp. Wow. This will grab the carbon isotope for the time being. That was... Kind of pointless. Gek word for first. Okay. Oh. Voltaic cells are... Are from, uh, having a scientist. Okay, well, let's charge you. I've got plenty of thamium for this. Alright, looks like there's our, our first Spadonium. Fair amount of Platinum, too. Guess so we should probably actually summon my, um... Should summon my freighter. Unfortunately, there's no... There's no easy way to summon the freighter nearby. Okay, well... I guess I'll just drop it in over there. Wow, that thing is huge! Okay. No, that's just carbon. It's this thing. Spadonium! So we've just got to find another another one of those cacti. Looks like, looks like they're co common enough. What I might do is uh, spend some amount of time exploring this planet. Um, and collecting just a shit ton of spadonium. I don't know how much I need to get, but if I have a bunch of uh, spadonium, we can make some um, French Fryonium and stuff like that. That was a terrible joke. Where that? Ah, here it is. Like, in spite of myself, I actually really like the look of this place. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's... Oh, wait, no, we already... We've already been on that shelter. Okay, can I build a... Can I build a scanner? I can. Yes. So let's right-click to get out of these things. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'll do a resource deposit, though I doubt it's going to show me any spadonium. Yeah, it's probably just iridium or whatever. With a color like that. Looks like iridium. Okay, but yeah, I might as well use, the, uh, use this opportunity to grab some more uh, inventory slots and some other things. Uh, but it looks like I might have to take a short break here to go censor some Skyrim because... Uh, fucking new mo nude mods. Why is everybody doing a nude mod whenever they do like a... I, I have this problem where I hate how people look in Bethesda games, so I'm like, I'm gonna get a mod that makes people look nice. And then I take off their clothes to sell and then they're nude. And I'm like, I didn't mean their underwear, but my, I, it happens. It pisses me off. All right, so let's uh, let's go up to the freighter. At the very least, wow, it looks so cool in the distance. I don't know if I'm gonna be switching this thing out for the time being. Look, it looks so fucking badass. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep my eye, I'll keep my eyes out. We might we might find some um, we might find some cool things. Yeah, some, some Skyrim mods do give you the option of keeping the underwear on. Yeah, this one didn't give me a single... A single one. Yeah, my sh ships look amazing. This is what I get for prioritizing um, visuals over everything else. Though, honestly, I can't say that's exactly a bad, a bad deal. I'm really surprised we don't actually go up to the bridge. Or do we? No, we don't actually go, go up to the bridge, period. Question: Do NPC ships randomly land on your uh, on your freighter? Because that'd be neat if you could actually um, 
set like buy and sell orders and stuff like that. I'd be down. I'd be down for that. Yeah, because it's my own ship. I can do the uh, speed speed trick, which is nice. Okay, please tell me I can get my uh, my my iron off of you now. I'd be pretty pissed if I can never get my inventory off of this. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay, so I just can't quick transfer. I have to slow transfer everything. Alright, that's fine. As long as I can move my resources around, we're all good. Okay. Are you able to store more than one ship in your freighter? Nope. Sadly. Wish I could. But no dice. Okay. And yeah, looks like I have to start over here. Do we even do a straight corridor? Nah. We'll just do one of these. Oh. Oh, never mind. Had to do it anyway. Okay, specialist terminals. There we are. Okay. Mr. Gizib. Here's your goddamn spadonium. Unless I don't have enough spadonium, I just harvested two plants, and there's a very real possibility... Oh, okay, here we go. Here's your spadonium. Let's see what we need for the next section. Hopefully I can just build the scientist terminal and then head over to the space station. Okay, we want to do this, and we want to just place it here. What? One per room? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Ah. Huh. I wonder if you could get yourself trapped in here. Oh, interesting. We do have to put some room between us. Base out of range. That's a new one. Okay, hold on. Uh, which one? Okay, this one has the lizard in it. So why don't we get rid of this and do a... Do a tri-hallway. Okay, that looks a little nicer. Okay, specialist terminals and build. Okay, so we gotta find a scientist somewhere along the way here. Um, should be easy to do. Question is, do we get the ability to make anything else, or is this guy kind of useless? Until we get the science. Okay, I need you to make your way to a nearby abandoned building. When you reach the abandoned terminal, upload its schematics to me. With the storage container, you'll have more space to store items. Ooh! Okay, so it looks like he gives me a, a handy quest here. I'll take it. Uh, so we'll stop at the uh, space station. I know where a uh, scientist is. Also, yes. Uh, my, my base literally just exists in hammer space. I was wondering about that. Also, uh, you can build using your starship inventory. Pretty sure it's in any space station. Uh, I'll check. The, I'll check the local one. If it's if it's not here, I know know where to go. All right, let's start with that abandoned building. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, that abandoned building is directly below us. That's handy. I guess we'll do that first. You know, I just got thinking, there's actually an easier way that I can scum this. Maybe. I could put a base down and teleport up to a station. That could work. Okay. Well, for the time being, this will be fine. Let's... Let's hit this, even though it's not particularly useful. And then we'll keep going. Okay. 
Let's pick up these random resources. They're not exactly the most useful to me anymore, considering I, I know how to make stupid amounts of money with, like, literally no effort. Uh, but still. Okay. So where's the entrance to this place? Please tell me it's not one of these garbagey ones where you can't get in ever. Okay, here we go. It's not. It's super gross, though. Okay, analyze schematics. So, builder's intuition serve you well. Blueprints to build the storage we need. Okay, so we got storage containers, and they need voltaic cells, but we can't do anything with that for the time being. So, ow. I have an idea on how to how to scum this a little bit. Obviously, I don't really want to stick around this place. But I actually kind of like this planet and or system for the time being. Uh, there does seem like there's some kind of handy resources hanging out. Oh, right. Yeah, we've also got the operation center and some other things that we're going to deal with. Well, for the time being, I'm going to go back to my, my ship. And I'm going to go deal with some other things. Let's see, what is the game that's been worst to set up for streaming? Uh, console stuff is a pain in the ass, but honestly, Fallout has always consistently been the worst game to stream ever. Which is why I don't stream it eh, almost ever. Okay. Man, I'm trying to decide. I want to explore this planet, but I do want to work on these quests. I know what we can do. Oh, wait, no, we got to find a habitable base. I can't just plonk it down wherever I want. That sucks. really wish I could make, like, a teleport module. My ship has a Star Fox feel to it. Hell yeah! Alright, um... Yeah, let's let's explore these for a second. Oh, that's a monolith right there. We should probably stop at the monolith. Landing area not clear. Thank, thank you. Guess I'll land, like, up here or something. I'm gonna land on that cactus below me. Come on. There we go. I was wondering about this. Okay. Let's just slowly scoot our butts down. I haven't been to an obelisk in a while. And I enjoy stopping at these. See, what is the easiest game to stream? Uh... Honestly, this game comes real close to the easiest game to stream. Uh, I do have some problems getting, um... I do have some problems getting OBS to recognize it sometimes. Um, but there's, there's almost never a lack of things to talk about during this game. Which is really weird, because honestly, it's kind of empty. Um, uh, comparatively. It's just... I don't know. Hard. Hard to say. Let's do this. I see a strange vision. A small winged creature lands on the very top of the monolith. Suddenly its eyes glow red. Its head revolves in a full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck, but the monolith's power of possession still animates it. I wonder if the right thing to do would be to shoot it and put it out of, put it out of its misery. Uh, shoot it. And there we go. Hooray for language and horrifying killing bird creature things. I really wish they had actually animated it. Okay, well, the Gek liked me more. Is that it? Did I get anything else? Health's at maximum. That's kind of meaningless. We've learned the Atlas word for witness. And we do get a Gek Relic. Well, I guess it'll do. I was hoping to find more of the, uh... More Spidonium. As we went through here. I'm not seeing any on my pings. Can can somebody in uh, chat tell me if we need spadonium? Because I think I've asked asked this like once or twice, but I don't really have much of an answer on that one. Anyway, uh, what's closer, drop pod? Uh, let's see. Let's take a side path over here. So that's a no. You don't need any more. Have I tried survival mode yet? For a bit, it sucked. Ooh, double drop pod. Handy.
Did I scan the spadonium? No. I should probably scan some spadonium. Kind of forgot about that part. Okay, here we go. So somebody says to me, yes, Wanderbot, and no, Wanderbot. I really wish people would actually respond specifically. In quotes. So we might as well grab this while we're here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my inventory is full. Wow, it's a giant cucumber thing. That is really strange looking, honestly. Let's see. Can't do anything with this. Use up some of my iron. Use up a lot of my plutonium. Okay. Um, guess I'll make a warp cell. Seeing as this thing's probably not going to get injured. Okay. Uh, poor starship. Fill inventory. Honestly, let's discard the power cells. They're useless. What else do we have? I got a ton of platinum. I guess we might as well uh, transfer over some, some of the max plat stacks. And I'll transfer over the Antrium. I don't know how much of it we need. But we might as well move over as much as we can. Okay. Can I merge these groups? I can. That's good. Okay, here we go. We got a Gragra and a Viking Dagger. Well, at least we're picking up small amounts of chump change, which is nice. Okay, so where's the next one? These over here? Okay. Yeah, so I'll just keep my eyes out for any other pot potentially useful question marks as we go by. And Spadonium. Though, according to people, small chance you don't need, need it anymore. I'll probably grab, like, one or two more if we spot some, but it might actually not even be a... Ch uh, gettable. Okay, hold on. Okay, whatever. It's just a ton of platinum. I was hoping I could cheese it with my ship. But, honestly, I'm not even supposed to be able to shoot at those, so... <laughs> kind of makes sense that I shouldn't be able to actually grab that stuff. It's interesting that the, uh, the things I'm specifically looking for here... ...are all, um... ...kind of clustered in the same area. Which is really strange, actually. But, eh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Keep the Gek Charm. You'll need it. For what? Because <sighs> usually I just sell that stuff because it clogs my inventory and I'm not... I don't generally need it. But if it's actually useful, then I guess I'll hold on to it. Okay. I see. Where is... It's right here. Keep losing sight of the uh, the markers as we go along. Maybe, maybe I, I lost it. And it's another... Another one of these. App Land, just... Hey! Smooth landing! It's not expecting to be able to land so freaking close to this. Okay, let's take a look around. Yeah, it's not giving me a whole lot of, uh... Oh, yep, there's some. Okay, the Gek dude will ask for some. For, like, standing, or is it actually, like, uh upgrades and stuff okay well let's go let's go pick up a little bit more of this stuff over here can I okay here we go this is the slow thing yeah so in regards to the person that was asking me if uh, I tried survival mode yet I had and I really did not enjoy uh, what small amount I did to the point where I actually threw away every bit of footage that I had for it the fact that it requires 100% of your, um, your launch fuel just to fly once is so pointlessly just... 
It's cumbersome. It's not fun. God damn, my freighter looks awesome in the distance. Oh yeah, I should probably... Probably actually scan this thing. Question is, what else can I scan? I think most of this, if I remember right. I'm kind of bad at scanning plants. I just don't bother. Mainly because I always saw it as like a, a money thing, and I've I've never been particularly interested in getting money from anything else. Anyway, uh, what were we here for? Right. I was gonna, I was gonna trigger this and then we were probably just gonna get out of here. Okay. Uh, I do hope they eventually pad out planets a little bit more than this. This is still just a little bit on the, uh, the, the light side, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see, if you get add-ons for your mining tool, put the mining tool... The main mining tool thing. You mean connected? Yeah, I know that. I know the fact that you get uh, you get bonuses for for linking associated bonuses. That looks like iridium. Is this iridium? Yeah, it's iridium. Not interested. Not even close. Did I stand scan the potato cactus? Yeah, I keep forgetting to scan the potato cactus. Is it actually necessary, or is it just to pad out my, my thing? Because if it's just to pad out my thing, then I don't really care too much. Okay. But if it's required for growing shit, then that mat that matters a little bit more. Let's see. Why can't you mine with the ship? Uh, mainly because you're not... It was never pro programmed for you to be able to do... Do so. The only reason why I can is because I'm a, a cheaty modder type person. And yeah. If it works, it works. At least my inventory is getting pretty full. What's the maximum number of inventory slots? Is it like 30? Okay, so I saw I saw some more uh spadonium. Spadonium. Okay, here we go. This time we'll scan it. Yep. Looks like I've got a... Okay, here we go. Oh. Fuck. Hey. This is annoying. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Please tell me my spadonium is still here. Is this it? Is this the spadonium? No. Shit, did I just... I destroyed the spadonium grenading that. Fuck. Alright, we'll try the next... We'll try the next set. This is a pain in the butt! I was expecting it to be like the other ones, where you just, like, take the top bit. Okay, 48 exosuit, 48 ship, 24 multi-tool, and 20 freighter, but you can't remember. Oh, that, that'd be pretty sweet. What's this? Uh, is that another whip plant? I hate the whip plants. There we go. Okay, these spadoniums look, look like they're actually available for, for scanning. All right, can't scan the spadonium. They are not scannable. Why? Hail if I know. But I can't scan them. Well, that sucks. This planet sucks. We still got that one facility to drop by, though. Okay, here we go. 
Let's just head over to the uh let's head over to the op center. Then we'll then we'll go back to the, the freighter. Then we'll go back no, we're not going back to the freighter. We're gonna go back to the space station in this system. I don't think I've even messed with this. And so we'll go back to the the space station, get the scientist, then we'll go back to the freighter, then we'll get the scientist. Then we'll probably switch games just because uh I I will admit, as easy it is to play this game, I'm dirt tired and my brain kind of hurts. Huh. That was weird. It wasn't letting get letting me get any closer to the ground. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm gonna need more spadonium. Well, uh, let's see. Even if I don't need more, it's fine. Let's see. Worst comes to worst, we just grow spuds or something. Can I even sell them? Do they have a... Do they have a, a sell value? Wow, they do. Okay. See, even if, uh, even if they're not the most useful thing in the world, if I can farm them or whatever... I mean, worst comes to worst, I sell them. They're not a... They're not a terrible resource, uh... Cash crop at the very least. Uh, I always have the hardest time finding the entrances to these things. You know, it really would be right where the. Uh... Well, that was easy. It's like you didn't even know I was there. Are the rest pissed at me? I have no idea. They'll be pissed at me in a second, though. They didn't even notice me shooting him. Well, now they're pissed at me. Not gonna stop me. Okay, exotic cave flowers you will definitely need. Good to know. Wonder's going to be a space potato farmer. Hell yeah! Holy potatoes were in space. The security alert is jumbling the screen. It's chaotic bu bucket of words. Okay, uh, docking. It's either a space station or a planetary trade platform, and I don't entirely know. Um, what do we think? Space station, planetary trade platform. Either or. If it's docking, it's probably a space station. Yeah, let's try space space station. There we go. Okay. And we get beam impact. Good stuff. Standing with the ge gek have gone up. All right, where did I leave my ship? Oh, right, it's on top of the bluff. Ooh, what's this stuff? Emerald. Huh. Really? Uh, we don't even have... So there's emerald, em emerald crystals. Didn't even know. I guess it makes sense. I guess. Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. How is it? Oh, I see. The red backpack symbol means my inventory is full. I was wondering about that. Okay. So what do we do now? Space station. Right. I remember. Yeah, the other game that's specifically uh, rather easy to stream, in my opinion, is uh, uh, Skyrim is actually pretty easy to stream. It, it's easy to commentate over just because there's always just something kind of to do in the background, and it's nice. I appreciate that bit. Okay. And I should have... I should have collected enough iron here. That we can stop at the space station. We just got to make sure that we go for it, because it looks like currently my ship has decided that it wants to go for that abandoned building instead. That is... That, that, whatever. It's not a big deal. Just a bit time wasty. Let me figure out. And see. So it looks like Bird, Bird and crew are around. I'm just tempted to play solo tonight, just so I can get everything done 
Because I got this, I got Skyrim, I've got DQB, and I've got, uh... Yeah, let's stop and refocus to that. Ah! Why is it that whenever I come out of warp, the freighters always show up? It looks awesome, but after a certain point, it's just like, mm, Don't need this. <sighs> I guess I also have scrap that I need to do. Shit, I have a lot of things to record. My backlog sucks. <laughs> Part of my problem is, is because I'm playing games like No Man's Sky when I've got like half a week's worth of backlog for this already. Ah! <laughs> Thought for a second I was going to run into the space station. Anyway, there's a fugitive attack ship nearby. Interesting. Still, I don't have my uh, I don't have my shields for it, so I don't want to I don't want to deal. Come on! Don't take me out just because I can't. All right, fine. I guess we'll get we'll get this first, then I'll figure out where the scientist is. I was kind of hoping the the scientist and the the build stuff would be a little bit less uh, questy and a little bit more like. You feed them random resources and they figure out how to craft new things. That would be way more, that would be cooler. Okay. That is creepy. All right, let's figure out. So you are an assistant, you are nothing, you are a trade envoy. Is it assistant? Oh, he's a farm. Farmer. So it looks like this place is meaningless. Alright. Um, I guess we might as well sell some of the crap that we're carrying around. Like the Grogara, the Viking Dagger, the Corvax Casing. Honestly, even the Gek Charm I'm going to sell. If I need Gek Charm, I know what to do with it. Because I can buy these. Assuming I go looking hard enough. That's usually a good idea. Okay, so now that my inventory isn't like crazy full, let's transfer over some items. Actually, let's see. We want to do it from here. Okay, here we go. Need Corvax system for scientist. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just, at some point we'll get to that. But I can buy those trade goods very easily. So I'm not too worried. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any scientists in this system. So I think we're just going to leave. <sighs> but I think we might do that on the next session.